Uh, so I want to show you some of the diseases that we're encountering and trying to um, counteract with microorganisms. So on this leaf here, you see this black spot that's growing on this leaf, and also this curling here that's happening. These are these are two um, fungal diseases: the black spot and then this other this leaf curl. And um, they're right here right now on the um, the leaf of the papaya. But if they're here, they're actually they're actually killing this leaf. You can see it's artificially yellowing um, as the fungus sucks out the nutrients. And the tree, realizing this is di diseased, actually transports the nutrients from this and it sucks the nutrients out and is then putting them up into the upper canopy where it's fresh, more younger life and living. And so these are older leaves, so it's analogous to a more older person. So as we know, older people are more susceptible to disease the elderly as well as children um, and the papaya is analogous to actually a child of um, susceptible in that same way of, of as it you know um, as it growing it, it also becomes susceptible to these fungus whereas the ma main part of the tree is uh, pretty resilient and these leaves here are pretty resilient but as you can see uh, this disease here this fungus is already attacking this new leaf and so what my goal is here is to cover this entire leaf in beneficial good microorganisms so that this bad guy has no place to go it's like a you know you go to the beach and everyone has their towels out already and there's no place on the beach for you um, that's the same idea of what i'm trying to do here if i get all these guys the beneficial microbes to colonize this entire surface then the bad guys have no place to sit down and kick back and start to eat their picnic lunch because the good guys will say, hey, get out of here, no room for you. So part of the strategy is to go and coat this with beneficial microbes. The other part of the strategy is when you get something like this and it's pretty past gone, you kind of have to get cut the bad guys out. So analogous to letting maggots eat the grossness out of the wound. I'm gonna do that employing sulfur and uh, using a wetting agent to spread the sulfur over the leaves but um, but parasitic fungus does not have the same cell wall as beneficial fungus so by applying a sulfur which is a completely biodegradable actually a nutrient for the plants the sulfur will kill this bad fungus and leave the beneficial fungus and the beneficial bacteria and the good microorganisms on the leaves and kill this bad guy so in tandem, first I'm going to start by spraying some sulfur and kicking the bad guys out, forcefully removing them, and then I'm going to, the next day, immediately replace it with good guys. So, you know, clear the beach out with the, you know, police officers, get everyone off the beach, and then let the good people come in and colonize the beach. And um, in this case, it's a tree, but you kind of get the idea of the beach to a tree of, you know, there's not enough space for you. Um, like to use simple analogies so we can all understand what's happening here because it's a very natural easy to understand process of what i'm doing removing bad guys replacing good guys then there'll be no room for bad guys and then the plant will subsequently then partner with the good guys and have extreme health because most of the problems are caused by this parasitic opportunistic fungus where when you spray a fungicide it kills the good and the bad guys and then, you know, just think of if, if a bomb went off in your town and every, all the good people died, you know, the first thing that would come back is kind of bad guys and looting and, you know, you can think of when we went into Iraq and took out the existing order and then all the looting happened. And, um, and so you want to not only, you know, remove what you consider to be bad guys, you also want to inoculate with good guys. So that's the complete system of natural farming is to not just attack but be pro-life pro-beneficial and that's what i'm going to do here on this tree and um, fix that up so that we have good abundant fruit without fungicide because that fungicide goes into your body and if you the sulfur i'm going to use you can actually eat it and i might do a demonstration of that if uh if you're really lucky okay aloha